Oh, hi, and welcome to another Today's Decay, <laughs> August 27th edition, uh, where we have a whole bunch of really strong, today, uh, whilst we could say we should celebrate this every day, today is punctuated by uh, very strong independent women. Uh, August 27th edition, on this day in 1892, Helen Gibson was born. Uh, Helen Gibson was a uh, early uh, film actress in the teens and 20s. She, she acted for decades, though, after that. Definitely worked in the 30s and maybe the 40s. But uh, in the teens, she was doing a lot of her own stunts. Um, mainly they were all like very physical films, almost like a, a way to um, uh, capitalize on her, her physicality. She uh, started off... Um, working in rodeos, and um, I, I, I really appreciate uh, 19 teen films because this is like before they figured out like having a stunt double or like maybe you should put some kind of safety precautions down in some form or another. So people were just like scaling walls, like Douglas Fairbanks Sr., uh, on his own without any kind of safety net or, or anything in place. And uh, Helen Gibson is... Um, uh, the, almost like the female equivalent, I'd say, in, in that regard. Um, like jumping off of moving trains, um, hanging on by, uh, like, like for dear life to like these like chains on cranes that are swinging around. I mean, it, it's like awesome stuff. And like how empowering. And here she is, like, you know, a, over 100 years ago doing this stuff at a point where, uh, this was not acceptable or what, what women were, were doing. Yeah, also on this day, 1905, a severe force of nature, Joyzel Joyner was born. Um, I first found out about Joyzel Joyner in the 1930 film called Just Imagine, um, which is a sci-fi musical comedy shot in 1930 or released in 1930 and takes place in the far-flung future of 1980 where... Um, Humanity basically lives in the skies of Manhattan and um, commutes to work in their own individual uh, flying cars. And um, what else? Really outrageous sets and costume designs. And then the characters wind up going on a trip to Mars where they meet the Queen of Mars, who is none other than Joyce L. Joyner. And uh, I am so sure that. Vivian Westwood took a good deal of the um, character designs, makeup, uh, and things of the Martian women, Joyzelle and like her entourage, and like adapted it into like 1976 styles. Um, because it, it, it looks very similar. Uh, I was working at 20th Century Fox in their archives for a bit, and I was allowed to print a couple of photos, and I I printed, so I selected a couple of uh, prints from Just Imagine, where like, all these like Martian women, Joyzelle I believe included, uh, are like spelling out the words Just Imagine, like per, like, you know, J-U-S-T, like in just single cards, like all together as like a, a press thing, and gave it to Flory Ackerman, because it was one of his favorite movies. Um, but yeah, she was a, um, an artist of her own right, I believe she worked in theater mostly, but like, I mean, in a film that tries to outdo itself in every single scene, she takes the cake. Yeah, it's great stuff. Um, probably available public domain online somewhere. I would definitely suggest watching it. She's got this awesome heavy duty eye makeup and these crazy long nails and this like wild thunderbolt hairstyle and like, I mean, too good. Joyce L. Joyner, too good. Um, on this day in 1911, Johnny Eck was born, the half man. Uh, you may know him from films like Todd Browning's Freaks, uh, but he performed on sideshows for decades, the whole, in the whole first half of the 20th century. Uh, first half, second half, either way, the half man was there. Um, yeah, also on this day in 1922, Frank Kelly Frias was born, a phenomenal uh, science fiction fantasy painter, illustrator. On um, this day, 1952, Paul Rubens was born. I love Paul Rubens. 
Pee Wee all the way. And in 1958, you can scream and scream again for Paul Rossler, who uh, was born this day, 1958. So, you know, Screamer is 45 grave, a whole bunch. Um, I, I still have to make it through this Phantoms book. I was gonna say I was gonna put on 45 grave and I will, but maybe I'll also revisit Phantoms because he's all through here. And uh, I, I love how, like, just how much all these LA people interacted with each other and like jumped from band to band and like it, it, it's a very fluid, friendly scene that is just like alive with creativity and individuality and good stuff, inspirational. So I'm gonna w listen to 45 Grave. I have Screamers somewhere. I'm gonna find Screamers as well. Uh, and you? I don't know what you're gonna do, but I'm gonna say it's, uh, that, that, that's your rundown for the day. Enjoy. Till later. Goodbye.